can't tell you how much of an honour it is as a, um, a little lilo paddler from Lindisfarne, Tasmania, a little uh, surf mat rider who graduated to a cool light, who got a hot stuff, who rode a bit of Simon and is now on Barry Bennett Mouse. To be in this crowd, I mean, the spirit here, it, it, it's what it's about. I mean, the spirit here is all about offshore winds, it's about pulsing swells, it's about the blue sky trying to outdo the blue sea and how rich we are with a thing called a culture called, a business called, a sport called, a lifestyle called surfing and I'm wrapped to be here. The Australian Surfing Awards were created many years ago to really recognise the, the fantastic achievements in Australian surfing and not just about the elite level athletes you know at the top end of the sport winning world titles but also about the grassroots of the sport. You know it is a showcase of Surfing Australia tonight, it's, a, it's an opportunity to be able to really show people what we've done in the, in the last year since the last awards and, and put our organisation on display. Uh, great to get the, the surfing tribe together and, and the whole community and, and all of our partners as well. So I hope everyone has a great night. The view from here as I look down there, wow, look to your left. Look to your right, look behind you, look at the people around you. That is surfing Australia. How lucky are we, how rich, much more rich are our lives because we have surfing in it. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the lifestyle, the business, the culture, the sport that we love. Oh look, I think uh, first and foremost it's a gathering of the tribe. It's an opportunity to meet uh, people that you don't see for the rest of the year. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to honour the, the people that have put time, effort and blood, sweat and tears into surfing as a sport. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous ones only go by one name, Madonna Bushy. Fantastic, mate. Of course, the, the funding we've had from uh, the Australian Sports Commission is going to make a real difference both in running the High Performance Centre and in developing the sport in Australia. Jack Freestone. Four times world champion. Bet you couldn't have guessed this one, eh? Stephanie Gilmore. Two times ASP men's world champion Mick Fanning, ladies and gentlemen. It's the big one, Hall of Fame. Three pretty big words, aren't they? Let's have a really big, warm round of applause. Let's lift the roof on this joint for the 33rd and latest inductee in the Hall of Fame, Albie Falzon, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bit of the show that um, we sort of wrap things up um, and that's why it took me seconds to come up with the name for this segment. It's called The Wrap. Now I'd like to be able to take you back over the highlights, the lowlights, the drama, the tears of this night. But I've been drinking the sponsor's product heavily and I can't remember. I think it was all right though. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't clap when we announced the VB thing. Round of applause for VB, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Can you imagine sitting here without it? Oh, yeah, exactly. 